Welcome to another episode of this platformer tutorial series. In this episode we will look at how to add coyote time. So let's get started. So first off, what is coyote time? So it's basically if you walk over a platform and you're no longer grounded, you'll still be able to jump even though you've left for maybe 0.1 second or something like that to give the player a grace period where they can still jump. So basically a way for the game to forgive the player for making a very small mistake. And this makes gameplay way more enjoyable for the player. So let's add it. So what we'll do is open up the player script right here. In here we'll go to the top and under our variables right here we'll add the coyote time. So we'll add a public float called coyote time which I will set to 0.2 seconds. I think that's a reasonable amount of time. And then I'll add a private float called coyote time counter. Then I'll go to the update function and in here in the if statement of is grounded I'll also do coyote time counter equals coyote time. So when we're grounded, the coyote time counter will just be set to coyote time, which is 0.2. But then we'll add an else statement. So when we're not grounded, coyote time counter will begin going down with time.delta time. So this is the time between each frame and therefore it will just go down with one every one second. And then down here when we hit space and we actually want to jump, instead of checking for is grounded, we're gonna check for if coyote time counter is larger than zero and if so in here we'll just set coyote time counter to zero and that's all there is to it so if we now go back into unity and i just add some more ground over here so that we can actually test it out and i then hit play and let's not grab this uh, power up right here well now if i go over the edge as you can see i can still kind of jump when i went over the edge which i couldn't before so I have like a very small grace period and like and to display this even more let's try to go to the inspector of the player and set the coyote time to two seconds and then try to play again. Now I have two seconds so I can still jump two times even though I've left all the way down there. But of course two seconds is way too much so I'll just set it back to 0.2. And that's all for this episode. In the next episode, we'll look at how to improve the movement even more. And that will probably be out tomorrow. Also, if you're interested in a paid course where you learn Unity like 10 times quicker, instead of all this YouTube tutorial stuff, which can feel like hell, well then check out the link in the description where I have an amazing course. And also a community where you can ask me specific questions. So click the link in the description for that. And see you in the next video.